Hello everyone, welcome back. So today we'll be going to work with Rosie, who is still a cadet in the detective career, and she should be getting a promotion because the only thing she needs to do is just have a good day of work and actively participate in the workday of the detective once more, but her work performance is super high, so as long as she doesn't like majorly fail in any way, we should be good. <laughs> she also acquired the comedy skill and the charisma skill, and all have reached painting level three she can now create low skill pop art and she made this lovely painting so I'm going to go ahead and sell it for 143 simoleons and we have a thousand four hundred and ninety simoleons we are so close to being able to afford the observatory and or I mean the um, nano can touchless trash can which would be a good investment because that means we could sell our dishes like one dish would well, I think the starting sell price is 40 simoleons, and then it gradually goes up to 50 or something. I don't know, because I remember they start selling for 40, and then they, like, go up to 50. I can't remember, though. <laughs> Wait, we have some trash in our inventory. Let's go ahead and get rid of this. We'll put it back in the fridge, and then we'll also, why do we have so many plates of grilled cheese. I don't get that. <laughs> they seem to be good, though. I don't want to waste a perfectly good grilled cheese. Duty Calls the World is a never-ending cesspool of grime and crime, and it's time for Rosie to take a big bite out of it. Sounds gross. Yes, we would like to join her. By the way, I was recording this before, or I thought I was recording this, and I didn't get far before I realized that I wasn't actually recording, so I did some of this stuff, um, but not much. <laughs> Training day two. Train harder. There's still a bit more to learn before you'll be ready for your own case. First, it's time to get out into the community and start building your reputation as a friendly protector or hardened authority figure. After that, you'll get ready to take a shot at finding and arresting a suspect. Get a move on, rookie. So we have to go on patrol. Rosie is off to work. Nice. Clue discovered. Rosie has discovered that the suspect is ambitious. So like this, I think I, because I was playing for a little bit, I think I might have messed it up, <laughs> and that's why I got some of these notifications. But we have to go over here, click on this board, and patrol the streets to improve relations with citizens and issue minor citations. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'll click out of those those notifications. So I think I did like kind of mess things up, but we'll just like ignore them. I'll click out of them and <laughs> pretend. We'll pretend like none of. Oh, I clicked the wrong thing. We'll, we'll just pretend like none of that happened. <laughs> when an officer is on patrol, they could get to know the community and help keep troublemakers in check. Talk with residents to make a friendly or mean impression. If you see anyone littering or fighting, issue a citation to make sure they obey the law. Will do. Uh, la la la. Okay. So, chat with civilians and issue a citation. How much space do we have to work with? Looks like we have a lot. Where are the people? Oh, oh, it's you again. Estrella Hillman. Estrella Hillman. Why are you here? You seem to be a part of a lot of stuff. Are you all right? Monica Peters? Hey, Monica Peters. She doesn't seem... Neither of them seem to be in a good mood. Hmm. Estrella. Keeping my eye on you, lady. We could go fishing if uh, nothing happens, <laughs> which I'm down for. Are you gonna like start picking a fight with me? I don't want to. I don't want to fight with you. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh my goodness! Why? Why would you start picking a fight with the cop? What is your problem? Uh, hello. A citation can be issued to a sim after they have committed a minor crime, such as fighting or littering. Well, yeah. I mean, come on. <laughs> Definitely going to issue a citation. <laughs> Look at her, Rose, Rosie. I was going to say riding, but then I said her name instead. Issue a citation. What is wrong with you? Estrella, what the heck? Look at all of them. Aww. And poor little Audrey Salter over here. It's just sad. Are you alright? Friendly introduction. Let's see if we could cheer you up. Oh, I thought she was just going to walk away from us. Like, she was just going to ignore us. Pretend like we don't exist. 
Let's see if we could cheer her up. Ask about day. Friendly. Um, discuss interests. Friendly. Try to calm down. You saw that car pass by? We're going to try to cheer you up. And then we have to t return to the double. Return to police station. <laughs> Yeah, vent. It's all right. Rosie's here for you. No worries. I'll see. We made her feel better. Look, we had a bad meal. That food wasn't very tasty. Rosie made it. So, I mean, she did this to herself, really, if you think about it. <laughs> it's all right, Rosie. You tried. We'll work on your cooking skill. No worries. Chat with civilians. Sweet. We have a little less than a third of our pr performance. I've said that word so many times, and yet, for some reason, it just, I couldn't remember it. It's a bit early in the morning. I've had some coffee, but it's still, actually, it's not that early. It's 7.45, <laughs> but I woke up earlier than this, actually. I went to bed pretty early. I went to bed at, like, 10. I usually go to bed at, like, 2-ish, two, 1, 12, 12 to 2, anywhere from 12 to 2. Why are you being mean to me? Awkward comment. Oh, why? Why, oh, why did Rosie say that? Look, be yelled at by Monica. I was being nothing but nice to you. <laughs> okay, we're leaving. I don't want to talk to you. How? Okay, return to police station. I could also the have her click on herself. The the do, 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 do. Police station. We are back in business. You have processed enough clues to earn to issue an all points bulletin APB. While you have a rough description of the suspect, more clues you find and process, the more specific description becomes. Uh, what? The more specific the description becomes when you have a very detailed description of the perp, you'll be less likely to arrest an innocent who scares who shares what the heck am I saying? A few similarities with, with the guilty party. I mean, they probably. Oh scare people too so i gotta go over here an app will take you to the location of a sighting of someone matching your suspect description am i missing anything liam is off to work i don't want to have him work hard he was in a pretty bad mood so uh did i do that issue app let's do this all right rosie get your little butt on over here and we're going to take care of this we're gonna get our perp where are you oh she's angry dang it that woman feeling angry after an unpleasant conversation, aggravating conversation. I know. What was her problem? We were just trying to help. We were trying to calm her down. We were being really nice. I guess she wanted to take our frustrations out on us. Fine. So be it. So be it. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> That's pretty intense music. All points bulletin. A suspect fitting the APB description has been spotted in the area. Ask around to see if anyone can point you toward the suspect. Use a notebook to review the suspect description before you make an arrest. If you arrest the wrong person, it won't look good on your record. Okay. So, a suspect fitting the... Uh, I read that. So, let's see. We have to check our notebook. A suspect is wearing a short sleeve shirt. A suspect is ambitious. A suspect has a black hair. A suspect is female suspect is wearing a short sleeve shirt has black hair and is female uh okay so let's see if we can um, let's give you a friendly introduction i mean this is i think this is this is quarter length sleeve if i'm not mistaken i can't remember hey lady Tell me all about yourself. Let's get to know you. Friendly. Get to know. Discuss interests. Are you ambitious? If you're ambitious, I'm going to arrest you. Goofball. You're a goofball. I'm going to keep on getting to know you. I don't even care if you're annoyed with me. I don't care. Discuss interests. You're a bro. Cool. And a goofball. Cool. I'm okay with that. What about you? You're not in your everyday outfit, so friendly introduction. I could ask about suspects. Let's ask you about suspects. I mean, she could just lie though. So I wouldn't even know. Let's not wait. Hold on. Let me ask you about suspect. Um, oh no, she's wearing a purple shirt. Oh, see, see, see. Okay. Difficult. Oh, there's also one down upstairs. Downstairs. 
<laughs> and, I mean, this area is huge. They might not even be in this building. But, I mean, they're probably in this building. <laughs> we could go collect some stuff. <laughs> which I don't want to do because I want to find these people. Oh, we'll say. Got the point. Um, isn't that her right there? It could be you. So, I mean, ask about day. Friendly, ask about career. Uh, friendly, discuss interests. Can you just tell me? <laughs> tell me that you are ambitious right now. Funny, how about tell a joke about engineers, right? She's unemployed. Oh, wow, they're both goofballs. You should become besties. I mean, one of you is a hardened criminal, maybe. I mean, you might be some sort of... Oh, but you're lazy, which conflicts with ambitious. <gasps> oh, wow, this is really tough. Oh, but you're a genius, so, I mean... Well, I mean, that doesn't mean anything, actually. But lazy, I think, conflicts with ambitious. You can't be lazy and ambitious in this game, I don't think. Don't take my word for it. Tell me more about yourself right now. This is too much for me. I'm arresting you. I don't care. I'm doing it. It might be wrong, but I'm running out of time. I mean, I could add three hours to the thing, but whatever. If I arrest the wrong person, this could, like, royally screw me over. And I might, like, not get a promotion, but... Oh, wait, no, actually... Oh, no, I'm right, because you can only choose three traits, and she's not ambitious. <gasps> Did it! Oh yeah, I, f I didn't even I didn't even think about that. I totally forgot. The sun is shining in my eye. Hold on, let me move my curtains. Now that you've learned about work out in the world, you should know that there's plenty to do around the station to run criminals through the booking station, take crime reports from civilians, and get to know your coworkers. You can also use a gym upstairs to stay fit or browse the database on the computer to bolster your knowledge of the criminal mind. Browse the police database, get criminals fingerprints at booking station, and exercise for one hour. Oh, use the bathroom. Don't pee yourself. No! Why was I not paying attention? Now she's going to laugh at you. You just arrested her, and she's going to now laugh at you, and you're going to become embarrassed yet again. Rosie. I should have been paying more attention. I'm so sorry. Where do you think you're going? I'm not done with you yet. Oh, Fooey. And you have become gross. Can we mop this up? No, we can't mop it up. So is that going to stay there or just dissolve? I know, you stink. Okay, well, we can take a shower, so it doesn't really matter. I'm going to take a brisk shower. You smell really bad because I don't want to waste the time. Browse the police database. Let's um, get criminals' fingerprints at the booking station. Fingerprint... Tasha Hopkins, where do you think you're even going? Do you think you could just sit there and... Are you seriously going into the chief's office and you're going to read one of the chief's books? You ballsy son of a gun. What? What are you doing? Where are you going? I want to use these tables. <gasps> Interrogate a suspect you are said to determine their guilt or innocence. Oh, I want to do that so bad, but really, I think I should wait later because this, I feel like this should be something saved for when I'm, they tell me to do it, you know? So I think I'll save that for another day. Okay, let's, um, I, goodness, I have to actually put that book away. Why would you do that? You suck. <laughs> you made this so difficult for me, even though I should have known better. Hey, uh, I need to get your fingerprint, so let's do this. Fingerprint. I'm also, you know what, like going to search suspect. See if you have any, like, turkey basters. Or where are your handcuffs? D did I not put handcuffs on you? Uh, handcuffs. Hey, y'all having fun over there? Fingerprints. No match. She shaved them off. I'm sorry, but I can't help you. Is that her right there? Oh, Rosie has just... Rosie has earned that. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. I don't need any of that. 
All right. Drina Haribo. I'm going to. I don't know if I want to stay later. Should I? I guess I should. Stay late. We'll stay late for a while. She had a fish. She's like, eh, don't ask. <laughs> Alright, we'll stay late. I mean, if I if I have to, I'll just, like, fast forward it. Which, like, I'll do now. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh, that was so cute. Anji. <laughs> Take mug shot at the booking station. Oh, look at that. We've got all our stuff. All of our... There's no one in here. Why? Can I lock you up? How do I lock you up? Um, I've already done all that. Lock and sell. Here we go. Get in there. What the heck? What? She... Uh, how did you? I don't even know what just happened. That was so weird. That was so weird. All right, we can browse police database, discuss case theories with coworkers, exercise for one hour. Uh, let's go talk to you. Are you the chief? Discuss case theories. I don't know if you're the chief or not. I feel like the chief would be dressed in something else. But I mean, you're in the chief's office, so who the heck knows? What's your name? Hobart Kyle? Well, Hobart Kyle, I think you could view their, like, uh, title and stuff. Friends, household, romantic. Why can't you view coworkers? That should be a thing. Hobart. Detective. Nope. Uh, who else is... I don't know. Who cares? <laughs> I don't care, really. So how long do we have? One hour and 25 minutes. Search criminals at the booking station. There are no more criminals. What the heck happened to them? Did they all just, like, not... I don't know. I don't get it. You know what? We're going to use the chief's computer. Hey, chief, get off. We're going to browse police database. File paperwork. I don't want to file paperwork. Get off the computer. We're going to use it. And we're also going to file paperwork. Actually, I do want to file paperwork. I don't care. <laughs> yeah. We have six minutes left, and then we'll go home with our promotion. Yee! Okay, no more left. We're done. <laughs> End of shift. Rosie did a fantastic job today. There may be a shinier badge and a new title in her future. We already got a, a shinier badge and a new title, but there will be more. Rosie has been promoted to officer. She'll make an additional eight civilians per hour for a grand total of 28 per hour. She's also received the following bonus. 160 simoleons, new clothes, and her next shift is Friday at 8 a.m. Money earned, 234 simoleons. We, whoa, 2,172 simoleons we have. <gasps> Maybe I should get the Nano Can Touchless Trash Can. I think that would be a great investment. This is a toughie because I wanted to go and hang out at the new place, the new world, Magnolia Promenade. I like calling it that because it sounds really fancy, but, oh, I don't, I didn't want to make you come over here. I actually want to make Rosie come over here, but, um, hmm, they all go to work. They all work at like different times. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I could have them take the day off and then we could do that. Should I have them take the day off? Let me know what you'd like me to do because, I want them to get promotions. I don't know. I kind of want to go to work with Olive so that we could get her promotion. Was that my plan? I can't remember what my plan was initially. What a day of work. Liam is back home and he has earned a 288 simoleon suite. I pretty much read that. And Rosie's day of work. All right. Let's get the nano can touch list trash can. Nano. Boom. Is this it? No. <laughs> this is it. It's 1,200 simoleons. The next generation of trash disposal, the hands-free bin, replete with small, smart tech and odor filters, converts organic waste into fuel, rendering the entire unit self-sufficient. It's great. I'm going to put it over here, back where the other trash can was. We'll, like, uh, get, like, counters, and we'll fill their rooms up with fun stuff. Right now, though, their rooms are pretty cool. All this, I feel like needs more things in it it needs like a nightstand or something maybe i should put her bed over here and uh, i don't know it just looks a little bit more empty 
I'll put something else over in this room too. And uh, I don't know what I'm going to do in this room. I just, I don't know what I'm going to do in the rooms yet. I'll get in an observatory later. We still need about 500 simoleons. Also, I know that there's this cool new mailbox. Mailbox for get to work. It's like this neat little alien mailbox. I could get rid of this one. Do we have any mail? Would it matter if we had mail? No. If I wanted this. Ooh. I didn't put it in here before because I didn't know if it would look good with their house, but I guess it doesn't really matter. Oh my goodness, look how big it is. Aw, it's cute. What other colors does it have? I'm like going back and forth so much. The green, no, I like the black and white. Uh oh wow. It looks so strange without the without the roof on. Oh, it's so pretty here. I cannot wait to put windows in. It looks so funny without windows. <laughs> All right, so, oh, basement. So you don't need a basement in order to go down to the basement level. I will probably add a basement. Maybe I can make that Liam's, or maybe I can make that, like, the area where they do their experiments and stuff. Because I think... No, I think they do house calls, the doctors. I don't know if you can actually have the patients come to your house. Uh, I don't know. Do you get, like, x-ray stuff? I know that you... I don't think you get the big machine that, where you can make the stuff that Liam gets with the robot. You know, I don't think you can get that at home unless you unlock it with either a cheat or a mod or something. Anyway, it doesn't matter. So <laughs> I am going to get their mood bars up. I do this at the end of the videos because it, by the time that they wake up and I get all of their mood bars up, you know, they're, I have to have them take showers and then have them go to the bathroom and stuff. They immediately have to go to work and some of their mood bars are kind of low. So I try to just have them take care of themselves and get their mood bars pretty high. And that way they're not in a terrible mood by the time they go to work and or get home from work. So, yeah. <laughs> anyway, let me know what you'd like me to do in the next video and future videos. And I hope you enjoyed this one. I hope you're all having a great day or night wherever you are in the world. And I will talk to you all later. Bye, everyone.